Welcome everyone. Thank you for coming out tonight. I want to introduce our guest, Susan Constantine. Mm -hmm. She is a behavioral investigator. She creates the courses that are taken by attorneys, FBI agents, Department of Children's Services, fraud investigators, all kinds of interesting experts. She is the person who teaches the investigators how to read people. I'm gonna turn the floor over to Susan for a very interesting evening. So I've been analyzing a lot of you. I observed that every single person in this room, every single one, lies. All of you are liars. We all lie, don't we? We tell little fabricated lies. We have secrets that we don't maybe share with each other. So that's where we're gonna begin. Right in front of you, underneath your feet, you have a piece of paper. On this piece of paper, write down how much you trust your partner. One being the highest, 10 being the lowest. As soon as you're finished, fold it in half. Now I'd like you to switch it with your partner. Okay, let's start over here. What's your paper say? Eight. An eight. So you don't trust him at all. Exactly. Yeah, he's sneaky. He's sneaky. Tell me about that. He is. Ask him. But see, what I'm doing is when I'm watching you, at the same time you're saying that, you look at him a little bit smugly, and there's this rapid eye blinking that's going on that's telling me that, you know what, I got you, and it's almost as if a sense of embarrassment for him. No, he's a sneak. Uh, read his text messages from people that he gets. Meet me at the Ramada Inn, I have the money, don't worry, you know, things like that. What do you call that? Oh, when he was calling the ex-girlfriend, he had her under Antonio, instead of her real name, a guy's name, you know, that move. What was that, nine years ago? I don't when we care. first started dating? That's a sneak. Well, there's a high level of suspicion in this relationship. Okay, we're gonna go to the couple here. Let's look at the numbers. Whoa, you don't trust him at all, do you? Not one bit, no. So when I'm looking at this body language, I'm seeing these really massive barriers here. Uh, you've got your leg up, you're basically saying this is the, you're the gatekeeper, you're not getting anywhere near this. Let's talk about you. Are you trustworthy? Me? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, really? You're a liar. You just lied to me right there. I'm not trustworthy. You just repeated to me right now that you were not. I was asking you. Okay, now that's a smile, and that's what we call duping delight, meaning that uh, when we are being deceptive and we feel like we're convincing, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll smile, and that's a sense of arousal saying that I duped you and that I convinced you, but you didn't me. See, that's the thing is you might have been able to dupe her or dupe anybody else here, but your body language is telling me something else. So how are you going to rebuild trust here? I don't know because I'm just so broken by his lies. I don't even feel or even think that it's something to repair. You wouldn't be here if you didn't think there was hope. So in order for the two of you to work together, you guys have got to start to rebuild trust. The expert had a lot to say about my posture and the way I position myself and all of this f 